Okay, lots of bull in there politics, municipal politics. And then that, there we go. Federal politics. What's your name again? Matt Corsi. Okay, you're the MP for Fredericton. You got that. Armato Fredericton or Fredericton? Armato Fredericton, New Maryland, oh, part okay. of the Grand Lake area. Hey. Gorgeous spot. Gorgeous. Well, how are you doing as a politician there? Really enjoying things. Enjoying things? So far, so good? So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Getting settled in now, about seven months in. Seven months. Yeah. So what happened with Justin Trudeau the other day? I think what you saw was government just uh, trying to move legislation through and you saw the Prime Minister get up and apologize unreservedly well, yeah. for that. About think, 20 times. Yeah, and people expect us to get back to the business of, yeah. of governing. And, and I'm glad that we're going to be able to do that when we resume our, our sitting uh, next week. So, you're there, same time uh, Trudeau was there before you. Is it that bad? Does it get really hectic in there? Like, bullshit, uh, BS? Well, I'll, t I'll tell you, it's, it's a pretty human place. It's, it's full of 338 human beings who come from diverse experiences across the country. Everyone's doing the best they can all the time. And uh, by and large, I think the tone of the house has been quite civil, uh, quite speaker, productive. The speaker did a good, doing a good job. Huh? The speaker from Halifax, Jeff Regan, is doing a good job. Uh, I think you, you saw a pretty intense week where we were discussing some pretty important issues and um, emotions got the better of, uh, of some of the folks in the house. but. That's been resolved, and, and I think Canadians uh, expect us to continue working hard for them, and, and that's what you'll see when we come back uh, next Monday. Maybe Trudeau just don't like the BS. I said, come on, let's get this thing going. And, you know, he saw what was happening. And is it blown out of proportion? Well, I, I think there's an expectation that we all behave ourselves in, in the House of Commons. And, and like I said, you saw Trudeau apologize 20 times but there's no doubt that there was a bit of you know uh, st stuff going on and uh, did you see it I was sitting in my seat the whole time you seen everything I saw everything from my own seat yeah so uh, there was no it was when you first seen it did you know it was gonna be uh, uh oh no I, I think we just kind of uh, saw things unfold as they did and at that point, we knew that we had an apology to make to Canadians as a governing party, and uh, and we wanted to get back to the agenda of the day. We saw the Prime Minister um, accept responsibility. 20 times. Apologize, um, and, uh, and we want to get back to passing the legislation the Canadians expect us to pass. So is it uh, the way you're answering, is it the way uh, it was said at caucus, the caucus meeting, this is what you're going to say? You know, respect better from our MPs and we well, move on. I mean, this is what Canadians told us I'm in the election, here. right? Yeah. Of course, we're all emotional as human beings. Sometimes yeah. those get the better of us. Uh, but but we've got to remember what we're there for and, and what people expect us to Bottom do. Bottom line, I don't think it's going to happen again. I can't imagine that maybe do, maybe, do, think, maybe Dominique LeBlanc will go next time. <laughs> maybe just they were pushing Dominic. Go. I think we all learned lessons from what happened that yeah. day, and, uh, and and I think people accept that we're all fallible and that we're all human, and that when we apologize and it's sincere, they they know that we'll get on with doing the job we've been asked to do. All good. Thank you.